Welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from James chapter 4, beginning in verse number 13. Go to now, you that say today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain, whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. For what you ought to say, for that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. One thing we never want to do is brag about our plans. That kind of self-confidence is never pleasing to God because it suggests that you are sovereign and you're not. Furthermore, it isn't spiritually healthy to have that attitude because it takes our focus off of God and puts it on to us. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. Consequently, when things don't go the way that we plan, we get upset with ourselves or someone else or with unexpected circumstances. We take too much upon ourselves and therefore forfeit the peace which comes from knowing that God alone is sovereign and that he is working all things together for good and that the plans and purposes of God are the ones that will prevail. They cannot be stopped. Ours certainly can be. Live in reality. Verse 17, therefore to him that knows to do good and does it not, to him it is sin. Sins of omission are often forgotten sins. Christians who wouldn't think about doing something wrong, like taking God's name in vain, or telling a lie, or stealing something, or committing adultery, or getting drunk, will often overlook the sins of omission. Sins of omission are a failure to do what is good. They are what God is talking about right here. Sins of omission are knowing what is the right thing to do, but not doing it. It's good not to do what is bad, but it is also bad not to do what is good. It is bad to do what is bad, but it is especially bad, or I should say equally bad anyway, to not do what is good. God wants his children to go on the offensive when it comes to doing what is good. He doesn't want us to sit back and simply not do what is bad and be satisfied with that. Jesus went around the countryside doing good, the Bible says. There's a lot of good that can be done, and God's people ought to be busy doing it. Because if we will not, no one will. Or, maybe even worse, The world will try to make up for the lack of good that Christians are doing and really mess things up. So, don't do what is wrong, but do what is right. Sin is a a two-sided coin. Not doing that which is right and doing that which is wrong. Study all of the Bible with me, verse by verse four complete series going through the whole Bible at the Scripture Verse by Verse website found at the Bible verse by verse.com. It's taken me over 36 years to produce all these studies, and it's all archived. Choose, click, and listen again at the Bible verse by verse.com. If you would like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word and When you take a break from studying with me, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, so long, everyone.